Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, cleaning the engine parts with the solvent and uh, preparing the engine cases, uh, cleaning and preparing them for paint. Uh, so in this video, I'm just showing basically how you would put the engine parts in a parts washer. I've kind of touched on this in the past, but uh, I'm just showing it in action here. And, you know, with the brush, you just kind of skim over everything to get it, get all the oil residue off of it. And uh, on the engine cases themselves, or, or on the engine parts, you really have to just skim over and get the oil residue off. But on the cases, uh, you know, and all the exterior parts, you've got all kinds of grit and grime on them. And the first thing that I do before I wash it with the solvent is I scrape all of the dirt and grime off. I mean, we're talking about, you know, 30, 40 years of dirt and grime. And then on this engine, it was particularly bad because as you've seen in previous videos, this, this engine was really uh, left out in the elements for 20 years in a junk pile. And it, it really, uh, the elements really did a number on it. So <clears throat> the cleaning is really difficult on this engine. But anyway, the first thing I do is I scrape everything with the, with like a putty knife and a screwdriver and whatever other instruments you can use to get all of the dirt and grime off. So as you can see here, I start with the putty knife and then I take a screwdriver and I kind of go through all of the grooves and nooks and crannies and so on, as you see here. And then once you've gotten everything loosened up, then the solvent works a lot better with a brush and it gets it pretty clean. It's a tedious job, but you just have to be patient. So then after you do that, you go ahead and start washing with the solvent. You can see it just melts away at that point. And again, it, you have to be really patient. You just take your time and do it. Now, some, some guys will use a pressure washer, but I don't know. You know, my opinion is nothing works better than solvent. A little elbow grease and solvent and you get the much cleaner result. Unfortunately with the solvent, you know, it you really have to wear a painter's mask and some gloves that don't get affected by the solvent because it is very strong and toxic stuff. So but that's why it works so well. But as you can see here this is the before and after. This is the bottom half of the engine case that I've cleaned up with the solvent. And this is the other half that I have not cleaned up yet. So you can see what I mean. The solvent, nothing works better than the solvent. And again, I... I uh, went over the brand that I use in a previous video. But as you can see, every single bit of dirt and grime is off this engine. Now, things like this are, those are stains that you basically have to take a wire brush and brush all that off. So then on the bottom half, the one thing that I didn't do until now is remove the oil pump, which is very important. You take that out of there and make sure everything is is good with the oil pump. You don't want to put the whole engine back together again and then find out the oil pump is bad. 
in this case, the oil pump was really a mess. And not only that, but there were there was all kinds of grime and sludge and actual broken pieces inside this oil pump. There's here's the screen that I took out and you can see what I mean. It was a mess. And there were, there's actually broken pieces that came off of the oil pump right there. Now this piece unbolts, but with thank goodness, because I'm going to replace this piece it, you know, for some reason, the edges got broken off. And that that's just that can be catastrophic to an engine. There's two bolts that hold this bottom piece on. And it hooks up to the oil pump on the other side. So once you get those bolts out, then you pull this bottom portion of the oil pump off, the pickup uh, tube. And it's got a gasket on it, as you can see there. So you've got to replace that gasket. There's also some O-rings on the pump side. Here's the pump now that you've taken the, the uh, pickup tube out. Then you just take the oil pump out. It's held in by three bolts. And here are the passageways, and you can see all kinds of sludge and grime in there. And again, this has, this has O-rings in it, so you've got to replace those O-rings right there. And then the gasket on the other side. So if you have the cases split, then it's worth it to check the oil pump. So then back to the cases, you know, to get the stains and the other stuff off of the, the, uh, the engine cases, you just take a wire brush. And again, it's a tedious process, but, you know, to, before you repaint it, it's good to clean it up completely because then your paint job's going to turn out a lot better. And on my next video, I'm going to I'm going to show you how I do that. Now, I am going to probably put paint stripper on this to get the factory paint off of there to get it back down to uh, raw aluminum. And again, the paint job will turn out like brand new. The, the whole engine will look like brand new once you've repainted it. Now, also, I, I have ordered and received the uh, rod and main bearings. And as you can see here, I have a whole pile of brand new bearings, and they're beautiful. So, as you recall in a previous video, I had to order uh, on, the, on the main bearings all green and one brown. So, I've got all the green ones and then one brown, and then I have all of the uh, rod bearings as well, which are right here. And I believe I had yellow and brown and green ones to order there. This one's a yellow one. You can just barely see it there on the edge. And I order all my parts from Service Honda because they have by far the best prices on servicehonda.com. And they're just great. They've got the best prices around. They're out of Chicago. Um, and again, can't beat their prices. So. so that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I'm ending by showing you some pictures of the of the uh, diner, which is completely finished now. And uh, and that's it till the next video. Thank you for watching and please like, subscribe and share.